Hi ladies, it's Elisa and I'm here with another update. Um, I am today 32 weeks and four days and I think the last video that I had updated me, uh, you guys about my pregnancy was at 29 weeks. So I'm going to go over weeks 30, 31 and basically 32 since it's uh, pretty much more than half over. Uh, today I had a doctor's appointment and what we learned is that baby is uh, head down so that's great he has not been head down for this entire pregnancy so the fact that he's there now at almost 33 weeks makes me happy the doctor did warn me that um, the baby still has enough room to float and flip around so I'm trying not to get my hopes too high up but I am very happy that he is head down um because what I had thought was his head is actually apparently not his head at all they're they're his um, knees and like thigh <laughs> bones um, rubbing up against uh, at the top of my belly where I thought or was worried that was still his head um, but yeah so basically weeks 29 and 30 were the same all the same um, symptoms and 31 it more of the same um, is just this 32nd week where I have really started to get into that oh this is what other moms are talking about other pregnant women are talking about feeling this way because um, I'm just really starting to get um, uncomfortable not all the time um, just moments especially when I'm at work by around two o'clock in the afternoon sitting in an office chair um, even though I have really good posture, it's just, and I have brought a pillow to put underneath my feet to keep them elevated, a pillow at my back <laughs> to keep me comfortable in the chair. It still is just, I'm um, just getting uncomfortable by the afternoon. Besides the fact that um, sitting down is hard <laughs> for that for that long. I try to get up and walk around, but if you work at a desk job, there's only so much getting up and walking around you can do. And baby boy, <laughs> little Sawyer in here is his most active time in all day. It is between the hours of two and four thirty, and that's the end of my shift. And uh, it's just with him flipping and rolling, it's just more uncomfortable if I'm sitting down. <laughs> so. You know it's just uncomfortable and um, that's just becoming more challenging um getting in and out of the car just this week um even because I have a um, I have to carry a laptop bag and then I have my lunch bag which also serves as my purse so getting that in the car with myself I find that I can almost barely not do that I have to go around the car before I get in put my bags in the passenger seat and close that door go all the way right back in and try to haul my butt up into the car I have an SUV so well it's a CRV so I, but I'm a short person so even that little tiny CRV is hard for me to get into and my husband's um, SUV is even harder for me to get into because there's no handles so usually I can use the handle to kind of haul myself up but he doesn't even have those so he has to give me his hand um and just getting into bed my bed's kind of tall because Brian's a really tall guy um and just getting up into bed is just harder and just things like that um Staying asleep is is hard and not because the baby's keeping me up because he's basically not very wiggly at night that I can notice at this point. He's not keeping me up. It's waking up almost on the dot every two hours to go to the bathroom and and, and to change positions because every time I get back in bed after going to the bathroom, I have to switch sides. But <laughs> Last night is one of the first nights that Brian actually had to assist me in bed because I have my snoogle now um, that, I, that I've been using to sleep, which really is like the best invention ever. I love that thing. Um, the pregnancy pillow is just great. Um, but you can get kind of tangled in it because it is shaped kind of like an S with an extra curvy tail at the bottom. So... Oh, it's around my neck and under my head and then back around my, I mean, you know, it's being like wrapped up in an anaconda and trying to get in and out of that um, at two o'clock in the morning when I'm barely awake is, is becoming more and more challenging. But Brian was helping me into bed and uh, he paused and was like, is everything okay? Because I was pausing on the outside of the bed and um, 
he said, is everything okay? And I said, well, I'm just trying to decide if I have to go to the bathroom. But I just went. I'll, I'll be fine. He's like, no, you should try to go again. <laughs> and I was like, <sighs> and for sure, I went in there, totally went to the bathroom. I had just gone, not even like 15 minutes before that. But I guess that explains it, him being head down. I mean, he just, <laughs> bladders don't like babies. So, <laughs> um, and he helped wrap the snoogle around me in the proper way and put the blankets over me. And really that, I mean, that probably saved me 10 minutes, him helping me into bed. Um, but yeah, so weeks, yeah, 29, 30, and 31 were all kind of the same. It's just the 32nd week where I'm like, oh, this is what people are talking about. And I am not trying to complain about it because I enjoy every second of it. Um, even when he is making me so sick because he is rolling and, um, oh, I don't know what he's kicking in there, but, um, rolling and rolling and making me feel like I'm going to vomit. <laughs> even then I'm like, but that's my baby rolling in there. I mean, he's alive and strong and getting big and, you know, it's just, it's hard to, it's hard to think of it you know, like that. I'm so happy to still be pregnant. So happy that he's doing well. But I guess that doesn't stop the fact that it's, just, you know, sometimes just uncomfortable. But, um, yeah, so those are basically the only symptoms that I've had is that everything is just starting to get a little bit harder. Um, the silly things, putting on underwear, you know, bending over that way to put on shoes or pants or anything, you know, just squishing the belly that way. It's not painful. It's just uncomfortable you know it's not good to get to and me shaving my legs ladies I'm still doing it because I don't like the feeling of hairy legs but it's probably a joke it's probably just it's probably hilarious to watch if someone were watching me in the shower trying to bend over with my legs fully akimbo trying to shave my legs luckily my legs are not that far away because I'm a short person but I it was it's still probably hilarious um but yeah, so I'm trying to think of any other symptoms. Nothing has really happened. Um, the weeks have been, you know, flying by. Um, everyone keeps telling you just wait. It'll feel like forever. And and I'm like, you know, it might. It it it, it might. We might get to that point where I'm just like, get this thing out of me. How could these days possibly be lasting this long? But right now, I feel like, where did the last 32 weeks go? I mean. We're almost in my 32nd week. My pregnancy tracker or something is saying that I have like 52 days left. 52. In a couple of days, it'll be 50. I mean, that's final countdown style. I mean, it's crazy. Um, excuse me. And also, my baby shower is not this Saturday, but next Saturday. So I'm really excited about that. And people have already sent us a few items. Um, it's just crazy. There's, I... I don't know why the baby shower feels like this huge milestone, but it's because for so many years, I celebrate other people having babies and this is going to be mine. It's going to be my turn and it's crazy and we're going to have, you know, it's just going to be a huge like taco chocolate fountain having barbecue fun thing and it's uh, hopefully going to be just super awesome. <laughs> um, yeah, it's going to be awesome. And I'm really excited and we get to talk about babies and plans for babies and baby things and you know, no one's going to stop me because it's a baby shower, you're supposed to talk about babies. So um, yeah, didn't mention there's going to be a chocolate fountain because that is the best news ever. Also, speaking of chocolate fountain <laughs> and me being a fatty tatty, <laughs> I and my glucose intolerance. So how's that going you may ask? Well, really crappy. <laughs> Um, I was doing so well and most of the time for the most part I do do really well with the diet, but um, I'm just I'm just not that great at it. Brian said that I'm like a drug addict. I'm like just one more piece <laughs> Just one more piece of chocolate. I like lust after Tootsie Roll Pops. I Have dreams about ice cream and cake. Oh my gosh. Like the list of things that he has to bring me in the hospital or is is exponentially growing every day. Every time we go to the store, like I need jelly filled donuts. I need cake. Someone's bringing me sushi, right? Is there going to be, you know, champagne? Because I need champagne. So there's a whole list of things that I want. I want a Subway sandwich like nobody's business. <sighs> anyway, 
so yeah, all sorts of things. Um, so it's doing mostly really well, but I do have very bad moments. Um, I'm trying to, if I'm bad earlier in the day, if I go out to lunch while I'm at work, I really try to be good when I get home and be very selective about how much sugar I am intaking. My snacks are still good because I'm still adhering to um, what my nutritionist said about the snacking. And most, for the most part, my lunches. But um, when I get home, it's just bad, bad things happen with my house. There are cookies and things here. And mostly Brian doesn't want me to have them and doesn't usually let me. But uh, I'm still, I'm very bad. I'm very bad. And I'm like, well, my baby shower is going to be a cheat day. <laughs> but I've been having a lot of cheat days, guys. It's just not good, which is probably why the baby's so freaking big. And I should take it more seriously than I do, but I just... I don't know if you're not if you're not gestationally diabetic like and you know I just don't know how serious to take it I'm trying to be good but I'm just not I'm human and I have flaws and that apparently sugar is apparently one of them <laughs> or a key to <laughs> demonstrating my flaws anyway so I wish there was something else I could tell you guys um I think that it. I am careening towards 33 weeks and damn near the end of this pregnancy. It's crazy. Um, and meeting Sawyer. So that's crazy. Um, yeah. Uh, we have, I made an appointment with my doctor in another two weeks for my last every two week appointment. And then after that, we will be going to weekly appointments because I will be 35 and the next appointment will be 36 weeks so um yeah we're talking about maternity leave I will probably be done with work by the end of May um, my doctor said we'll talk about it again um at my next appointment and see how I'm feeling um but he said that at that point he could write me a, a note and that'll be that um so you know um my blood pressure is still low I have still not gained any weight um I am still only up three pounds for this pregnancy so I think that that demonstrates that really I, I am I'm still sticking to the diet pretty well but also this baby is just apparently sucking me dry um of like all of that stuff so Maybe when the baby's born, it'll be fairly easy for me to lose the baby weight because hopefully it won't be very much. But if the baby's growing on track, then I'm not going to be worried about how much weight I gain or don't gain. And um, the doctor's not worried, so, you know, whatever. Uh, so, yeah. Um, if I think of anything else, of course, I will let you guys know. Um... And if you guys have any questions, obviously, I try to respond to all your guys' comments. I read all of them. I love them. I love hearing from you guys. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I will definitely be talking to you guys. Bye.